So here it is. No, not Merry Christmas, but the latest generation of 3D graphics accelerators. December saw the launch of AMD's Radeon 7000 series cards, promising to wipe the floor with all previous generations, but does it? As we've come to expect, the first card in the new series is a top-end, loaded-to-the-max, mega-monster of a card. The AMD Radeon 7970 card has a whopping 4.31 billion transistors, being fed by 3 gigabytes of DDR5 graphics memory. With that kind of spec, it dwarfs AMD's existing King of the Hill GPU, the Radeon 6970. Dig a little deeper and you can see just how this new silicon has been used to create unparalleled parallel processing capabilities. Around the time of the Xbox 360 launch, the market moved towards the idea of a universal shader, compute units that can do everything. The previous generation had 1,536 of these mini-brains. The Radeon 7970 brings 2,048 to the table, and they're all running much quicker. The faster a chip runs, the more hours it has in the day to do clever stuff for you. The 33% increase in brains is backed by a 5% speed tweak. Okay, enough willy-waving. How fast is the damn card? In 3D Mark 2011, the new card is more than 25% faster than Nvidia's best chip. Switch to a DirectX 11 game like Aliens vs Predator, which uses advanced features like tessellation, and it wins by more than 37%. So comparing to AMD's own cards, where is the big win? Easy. Tessellation. The new card is almost 60% better than the older AMD cards. So what was the biggest surprise in the Kit Guru lab? Easy. Power consumption. Performance per watt. While boosting scores sky high, AMD has moved to a better production process. At peak, power draw remains the same. But when the card is idling along, i.e. not playing games, it actually uses less power than AMD's previous generation. In a world where we're all becoming more green aware, it's good to know that the human cost of fragging just went down by 25%. At around £450 from the usual suspects, this is not a cheap card, but for gamers who want the fastest chip around, it's the only choice.